Create a capsule and name it player. Reset its transform. Add a rigid body component. And set its interpolate to interpolate and collision detection to continuous dynamic. Create a cube and name it ground. Reset its transform and I am gonna set the Y position to something like minus 1.5 and the X and the Z scale to 100. And I'm gonna give the ground material I made. Next, create a folder and name it scripts. Inside that make a C-sharp script and name it player movement. This is gonna handle the movement of the player so attach the script to the player and open it in your code editor. Delete both the methods and create a serialized field private rigid body and name it rb. Next, I am gonna create a header variable and name it references and create another transform variable and name it orientation. This will keep track of our rotations. Create another header and name it movement and create a float variable called move speed. This is gonna be the speed of the player. Next, create the start method and inside type cursor.lockState equals to cursorLockMode.locked and cursor.visible equals to false. Also put rb.freeze rotation equals to true. This is gonna freeze the unwanted rotations. Now create the fixed update method. And inside I'm a call a method named move player which isn't yet created so let me create it. So first let's find the player's input by using input.getaxis raw horizontal and input.getaxis raw vertical and by storing it in some float variables named x and y. Now let's create a vector 3 and name it move direction equals to orientation.forward into y plus orientation.right into x. Now let's add the force to the velocity of the rigid body of the player so that he moves. Save the script and go back to Unity. Here I'm gonna drag and drop the player's rigid body and inside the player, create another object and name it orientation. And drag and drop it to the player movement script. And I'm gonna set the move speed to something like 10. Next create another script and name it move cam. This is gonna move the camera with the player so create an empty game object and name it camera holder and drag and drop the camera inside the camera holder to make it a child object. Now drag and drop the move cam script to the camera holder and open it in your code editor. Here I'm gonna delete both the methods and create a transform variable named campos. Now create the update method and type in transform.position equals to campos.position. Save the script and go back to Unity. Inside the player, create another object and name it campos and set its y to 0.6. And drag and drop it into the move cam script. Next, create another script and call it mouse look. And drag and drop it to the camera. Open it in your code editor. Here again I'ma delete both the methods and create a transform variable named orientation. Create a header and name it references. And another header named look. Inside create two float variables named senseX and senseY. And here create two private floats named X and Y. Create the update method. And type in y plus equals to input dot get axis raw mouse x multiplied by sense x and 0.01. And x minus equals to input dot get axis raw mouse y multiplied by sense y and 0.01. And then x equals to math f dot clamp x minus 90 and 90. Now let's set the rotation so, orientation.rotation equals to quaternion.euler, 0, y, 0. And transform.rotation equals to quaternion.euler, x, y, 0. Save the script and go back to Unity, here I'ma drag and drop the orientation and put the sensitivity to something like 100. Press play and you should be able to look around and even move. Thanks for watching the video.